Good job, Robbie. Nice, nice snag. Nice snag. We're on a canal off of Little Hunting Creek. Uh, just a stone throw from Mount Vernon, looking for northern snakeheads with our electrofishing boat. This is a big aluminum John boat with a generator on it, a pulse box. We got a couple big booms that hang off the front of the boat. We set up an electrical field, and the fish within that field are stunned and generally pulled towards the positive probes. We're out here looking for snakeheads today because it's a recent invader of the Potomac River system. Certain species of fish have shown themselves to be problematic and, and generally sort of a nuisance and, and cause some economic and ecological damage. Snakehead, we don't really know yet if that fish is going to fall into that category. It is a, again, it's a recent invader. This is the first established population in North America, and it's probably only been here since the late 90s. We've only known about it since 2004. Where we are right now is a pretty perfect habitat. You're always going to find these fish usually you know, in, in context with some sort of overhead cover. Normally, when we're out shocking, we're pulling fish out of the two feet of water, sometimes even a substantially less than that. Talk to anglers that have caught numer numerous snakeheads, and they do hit. They hit with gusto, and they fight very hard. You'd be able to see there's a lot of soft tissue concealing the base of some of these teeth, but but they are quite large for a fish this size. It's not that they're menacing and going to attack you, but but you don't want to lip them like you lip a bass if you bring one in because it it'll, it'll, it'll cut your finger to the bone. And we're learning a lot, but there's still some key gaps in in our data and what we know about northern snakeheads in the Potomac River. We can never get rid of these fish. Um, not unless science comes along with something completely new and different and something nobody's ever even expected or thought about because once they're in an open system and they're spawning and, and they're literally over square miles and hundreds of miles of river, it's just simply no way to target er eradication. That's out of the question.